Hi, Seth Chostak here. Of course, you know that. Or if you don't know that, you don't care about it. But let me talk to you about a very recent story in a British tabloid that was based on comments by NASA's Director of Planetary Exploration, Jim Green, in which he said, you know, we're sending a whole bunch of new spacecraft to Mars, and they might find Martians, and we're not prepared. So what did the tabloid imply? Well, we're not prepared. Maybe the military should get its act together because we've got to be prepared for finding those Martians. Well, look, let me just clue you in as to what was really meant here. What was really meant here was that it's not going to be a giant threat if we find Martians. And in fact, the real question is, what do we do next scientifically? Now, let me give you the three scenarios, and there really are only three. One, we send these new robotic spacecraft and they find you know, maybe micro fossils of Martians that were alive four billion years ago, and they were microscopic even then, okay? Well, that's not going to upset anybody, right? We did that experiment in 1996, the Martian meteorite story. Those of you who are older than maybe your average millennial will know about that story. That's, that experiment's been done. People are not going to riot in the streets because of dead Martian microbes. Here's scenario number two. We go up there and we find that if you go, you know, one meter, two meters, ten meters below the surface, there's this mat, if you will, of living Martians, microbial, but alive. Now, you might say, well, that's hardly any worse, except that, you know, Elon Musk and others are planning to send tourists to Mars. Well, what about that? I mean, would you allow that if you knew that Martian already had Inhabitants? Yeah, they're only microbes, but doesn't Mars belong to the microbes if they're what's there? Okay, so that's a little more tricky. The third scenario is that you go up there and you find, you know, little gray guys or maybe little blue guys, green guys, whatever color, Martians actually walking around. Ain't gonna happen. That would be a real threat because maybe they'd come here and invade New Jersey as they did in, what was it, 1938? Well, uh, they're not gonna be there. There's no, there's no sophisticated life on Mars today, and probably never was, because there's no detritus. There's no remains of Martian cities. You know, there's not stuff all over the place. So while that uh, makes for a good story, it's simply not true. So there's really no reason to think that we're not prepared in a psychological sense for finding the Martians. But Jim Green really has a point when he says, but if we do find something, what do we do next? And that's a little less clear.